season, tomorrow's opener, uh, how the team's shaping up, and then we'll get into some questions for you. Um, yeah, I mean, the exhibition like game was really good. Um, it was it was fun to actually go out there and play in front of live like a like actual people in the stands. Um, also, like having the freshmen and the sophomores having that opportunity as well. Um, having having at least one game under their belt um, with with full capacity in an arena and just have that away experience um, that we didn't really have in the past. So I think that was a big takeaway from the exhibition game that we had against Wayne State. So we'll open it up and we'll start with uh, Anthony Broom from the Wolverine. Hey, Eli, how would you say your defensive chemistry with uh, Devontae Jones has developed, joined, and, and does he take some off your plate? Um, yeah, I mean, Devontae is a really good defender. Um, but him coming from a different school, like they had different principles. I mean, he's a really good defender, but there's just different concepts between um, Coastal and, and our, our defense. So um, he's been picking up really well. Um, and um, it's nice to have someone out there that's um, that, that likes to play defense is really good at it. So it, it does take a lot off our plate. Next up is Daniel Dash from the Maize and Blue Review. Hey, Eli. Uh, Juwan this morning was talking about Howard Isley. I'm curious, in your mind, now that you've worked with him for going on three years, what makes him such a, a good backcourt coach? Um, I think he's really good with the one-on-one -on -one, um, conversations, um, pulling people aside and um, having that interaction of, like, if you saw certain things, even if you did make the right play, um, if you did see other things that developed through that play, um, he's really good at breaking down film, I think um, that's one thing that he helped me with a lot. When you think of your time with Howard Isley, is there a certain moment that stands out? Um, not particularly. I can't think of a story right now. Next up is Andrew Kahn from M Live. Hey, Eli. Uh... What can you tell us about Buffalo from what you've seen on tape and, you know, your, your preparations, what stands out about them? Um, offensive rebounding. I mean, they had the number one offensive rebounder as their four man this year, but um, they can really score the ball. I think they were like fifth in the nation of scoring last year, fifth or sixth. Um, so um, they can really score the ball and they, they attack the offensive rebound. Um, so it's going to be a, a good test for us, and um, I'm excited to take that challenge on. And then, you know, you guys are raising the Big Ten championship banner before the game. Um, you know, you, you've been a part of this before. Like, when, when it's actually going up, are, are you are you thinking about, you know, any moments from last season, or are you just kind of focused on the game? Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to show a video with it, so – um, I think that helps bring back some of the memories that you kind of like overlook throughout the season and some of them that you forget. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks. Next up, Michael Cohen from the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Eli. Um, I know the, uh, the freshmen have plenty of time left in their careers to grow, but at a point when Frankie and Zeb are, are out right now, how beneficial is it for Kobe to get all these extra reps at the one and the two, just kind of getting his feet wet before the season starts? Yeah, I mean, to be able to get live experience is big, um, especially early on. Um, it allows you to see what you have to work on and, and it allows you to see what works. Um, I think um, Kobe really embraces the teaching aspect. So I think, um, under Coach Howard and Coach Isley, like um, he's going to be able to grow a lot in, this, in these preseason games. We'll go back to uh, Daniel Dash. Yeah, you know, I think it was 17 turnovers against Wayne State. Uh, I think Juwan actually said he expected the number to be somewhere in the 20s. Uh, he remembered a, an exhibition game from his freshman year, maybe a season opener when Michigan had 30. Uh, I'm curious, what are, you know, some of the values of being able to work through issues like turnovers or not boxing out and giving up offensive rebounds in a, a closed-door scrimmage and an exhibition before the season actually starts? 
Um, can you ask, ask that last part again? Yeah, I'm just curious what you think the value is of being able to work through issues like turning the ball over, giving up offensive rebounds in yeah. exhibition settings. Um, I think it just allows you to grow um, and allows you to have um, that mental stability and that mental ability to be able to get through those things um, and try to fix those things throughout the game. Um, I think um, we did a good job of playing playing solid defense, but we just gave up offense. Every, uh, I think that's something that's gonna that's gonna change throughout the season. But um, just have the ability to to stay locked in, not get too frustrated, um, and defend. We'll go back to uh, Michael Cohen from the Free Press. Hey, Eli, sorry about that, I was muted. Um, Jawan had talked about some of the adjustments that he wanted to see from the DePaul scrimmage going into the Wayne State exhibition and, and how he was pleased with some of the things that were improved upon in that short time frame. Um, you know, I know every team is different year to year, but do you get the sense that this is a team that can make corrections quickly and is is willing to to make those changes in a short time span? Yeah, I mean, we're the majority are young guys, so um, there's going to be a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of room to grow. Um, but we have a lot of people that know the game and um, and. Um, that helps a lot with learning and be able to apply it. Um, and then coach does a really good job of having people's different, asking people how they learn, um, if that's film, if that's like actually doing it on the court and he respects that. So I think having the ability to adapt to people's learning styles and having a group that really wants to learn um, goes a long way. Thank you. Next up is Clayton Safey from the, from the Wolverine. Eli, with Devontae being known as such a good rebounder, we saw it a little bit the other night as well. Um, what does that do for you guys and being able to just kind of run down and, and get in a lane and get out and transition? Um, and with him at the point, do you feel like you guys are going to be able to run a little bit more this year? Um, yeah, it helps a lot when a guard gets the rebound because then that's the primary ball handler. Everybody else can just run, um, especially with Moose when he goes to the five. Um, and um, he's running down the middle of the lane. He puts a lot of pressure um, for myself, Caleb, and all the other wings. Um, but to be able to have an offense, I mean, have a defensive rebounder like Devontae, it gives us an offense quicker, allows us to run transition. Um, and he's one of the, he's the best decision maker on our team. So um, it helps a lot. We'll stick with the Wolverine with Anthony Broom. Yeah, Eli, obviously uh, you've accomplished a lot at Michigan. You've been on some great teams. And I know, I know it's early and there's a lot of work to do, but how high do you think uh, the defensive upside is as a team compared to maybe some of the other groups that you've been on? Um, our ceiling is really high defensively just because we have a lot of athletic guys. Um, now it's just about teaching technique and um, having that um, connection on the court. Um, but – I mean, when you have athletes like Musa, Brandon Johns, um, you got a 7-2 guy right in the middle, um, Devontae, myself, Caleb. Um, like, we have athletes that, that can guard, and now it's just like a, it's a it's a head. Like, you have to buy, in, buy into it because I mean, we have the pieces to be the best of defensive team in the country. But um, just buying the defense, uh, buying the different teaching uh, techniques, so. Next up is Audrey, Audrey Dahlgren from WLNS. Hi, Eli. Uh, one of the things, I don't know, maybe you've been asked this uh, already, but what did you learn the most or what do you think you guys learned the most about yourselves from that first exhibition game, playing somebody else for the first time? And then I have one more after that question. Um, I just, um, I think the ability to score the ball, I mean, we have a lot of people that can score the ball, um, and how unselfish people are. Um, I mean, it, you never really know in practice because everybody knows the sets and you don't really know how they're going to, how, how they're going to look against other people, but, um, be able to play offense against different people that you don't see every single day was good. Um, 
And when you can score the ball, like you have a good chance of winning a lot of games if you buy it defensively. So I think that was that was nice to see. And then as you uh, get ready to face Buffalo, you also get to have the Big Ten banner ceremony. What are you looking forward to the most when it comes to that? What kind of uh, night do you think that will be for you guys? Um, I just remember the last banner raising. Like it was, it's special to see um, the highlights throughout the season. Like I said, you miss out on a lot of a lot of little details, and those those videos bring up a lot of memories that you forget about. Um, I mean, when we had the Wayne State um, exhibition game and we sang the fight song after the win, like. Franz always did a little thing and it was just it was like those little things that you just remember um, that that make it all worth it. Thank you. We'll go back to uh, Michael from the Free Press. Hey Eli, I just wanted to follow up on the answer you gave about defensive upside for this team. Um, when you have the type of size and, and rim protectors like you guys do with Hunter and Musa and sometimes playing both of them together, does that allow you and Devante and the other guards to have any extra freedom to, to go after steals or, or play the passing lanes more just because you know what's behind you? Um, yes, but no. Um, I mean, we teach like being solid, but um, I mean, it's always in the back of your mind, like when Musa is, Musa is at the five or the four and the hunter's there. Um, Moose is a really good um, shot blocker, so um, it definitely it definitely takes a little pressure off, but and try to stay as solid as possible. Thank you. We'll go back to Daniel Dash with Maze and Blue Review. Eli, what did Franz do during the fight song? Um, right in the middle, he would always say "Go Blue," and it was just it was just a little thing that like you you don't really think about until it's not there. And it was just kind of sad afterwards, even though we won, um, that he wasn't there. I know a, a lot of guys right now are in season with the, the NBA or the G League, but are you expecting any former teammates back for the banner raising tomorrow? I was actually going to text a couple of them tonight, but um, I'm I'm not sure. I know Luke, CJ, um, Rico, and Austin Davis will be there for sure. I'm just not sure about the others. All right, Eli, that's going to do it. Uh, have a great practice today, and we'll see you tomorrow at the game. Thanks, guys.